artists who thrive, to take complete responsibility for your success and happiness. Do, does it feel like you can take more responsibility for your success now? Yes. Mm -hmm. That you don't have to be saved or discovered? That it's in your hands? It's all in your hands. You don't need permission from anyone to go make art and make money. You don't need permission from anyone. And remember, I'm a student of the luxury market. The fact is, is that people are buying art. They're buying it. So dispense with that scarcity mentality. I create, you know, it's about creating value above and beyond your art itself, right? Did you get that with some of the examples of the artists that we talked to, like Jenny McGee and Kate Bradley? Yes, they're, you know, they're amazing artists. They're very, very talented, but they create value above and beyond their art. When you're standing in your truth and your values, are you afraid of judgment? No. Do you really care? No. No. Cheryl, do you care? No. <laughs> you don't care, right? Very powerful. If you stand in your truth, no one can knock you over. You're immune from criticism. But if you are begging for the critic's permission, you have compromised yourself, right? right? You don't need everyone to like you. You just need your, you need to just your tribe. You just need to celebrate your tribe. You're not celebrating every tribe. You can't celebrate every tribe. A Navajo cannot celebrate a Mohawk tribe, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's all about freedom. I would say freedom is a really important value to a lot of people here, right? going to gain your freedom through business savvy. That's how you're going to get free. And can you see how marketing is art itself? Can you see that? And isn't it delightful to get paid? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is there anything more inspiring? <laughs> can you see where relationships equal revenue? That you don't do this alone? that you need collectors, you need relationships with collectors, you need relationship with your fans, you need relationship with mentors, teachers, other people, you know, like all, only, the only reason Creative Live works is because all these people have a good, healthy, working relationship. And they have to work together to put on this amazing production. It's being broadcast all over the globe. Not one person did that alone. It took this whole team of people coming together with a unified mission and purpose. And again, every entrepreneur, every artist is an entrepreneur and every entrepreneur is an artist. Is, do you get that? Yeah. OK, good. <laughs> All right, so what I'd like to do is I gave everyone an assignment last night. And the assignment is not really so much to figure out how you're going to introduce yourself. The assignment was really to understand where have you suffered the most in your life? Again, I recommend Viktor Frankl's book, Man's Search for Meaning. He, from, that, from his experience in the Nazi concentration camp, he realized and he observed that the uh, prisoners in the concentration camp who tended to survive uh, were those who found meaning in their suffering. So you can take that and you can actually transform it and actually not only heal yourself, but inspire others. And our jobs as artists, once again, is we sell feelings. We don't sell widgets, right? right. We sell emotion. And specifically, we inspire. So we have to feel how we feel. We have to feel our emotions and be very comfortable with that so that others can be feeling what we're putting out there and can be inspired.